Hi friends, um, Kelly here. Um, I hope that you are having an awesome day. Um, today really is a big day for me. It is June 15th and it is the one year anniversary of uh, my dad passing away. And um, this year has been a very, very big year. Um, not only did I make a move from Tennessee to Montana and open up a frozen yogurt and coffee shop, um, which is where I'm at right now. Um, it's just, it's been a big year. And um, a lot of things have gone on, a lot of exciting things. And of course, I truly wish that my dad was here to witness all of this. Um, and I just wanted to honor him today and, um, and just remember all the awesome things that he has taught me and um, just showed me in his own life. And um, he, loved music and music was my first love um, and my dad encouraged all sorts of creativity in me and um, definitely um, loved just music in general and um, so I have posted a video down below this one here um, and uh, it was just recorded on a little like VHS tape or something um, at his celebration service and it's uh, me singing one of his favorite songs called Amazing Grace and um, that day was just awesome. Um, not only was I able to get through a song, but um, but even friends of mine, awesome friends of mine, the Katinas, um, who my dad actually went and saw them at their concert in Las Vegas just about, gosh, a few weeks before he passed away. But they were there and um, just supported me and just stood behind me, um, which I really felt like it was like this hedge of protection as I was singing the song that I couldn't even get through when I was trying to sing it that morning. Um, but. My dad loved this song, and I just wanted to share it with you guys um, and um, just honor my dad today. You know, um, this year has truly um, been a reminder of how fast life goes by and how fragile life is. And um, our pastor here in, um, in Whitefish, Montana, um, has just been reminding all of us um, about our legacy. What are we leaving behind? And it's not so much what we leave behind at the end of the day after our life is, is over, but right now, like we are writing our eulogies right now. What I do every morning when I wake up until I go to bed, I am writing my eulogy. I'm writing what people are going to talk about and remember. And, um, and that's just been so encouraging. It has been a game changer for me. It has um, changed the way I look at life and how I live my life day to day. And um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys, um, even if your story doesn't entail something tragic as losing a parent, um, but you have a story. Um, I used to believe I didn't have a story. I didn't have a story to tell, and um, but we do, all of us do. And if you're like me and you have um, major loss and just um, a time of mourning, um, to embrace that. Um, and just to encourage and just share that story. And I'm able to share my dad with so many people on a day-to-day -day basis that come into my my shop here and ask me, you know, why Montana? How did you get here? And and um, my dad is part of that story um, because it was in that season in Nashville that I was so comfortable. I loved where I was living. I loved where I was living, what I was doing. Life was good. And I was really, really comfortable. And um, that moment of getting that phone call, I just knew life is short. What am I doing? And I knew that I wanted to make a drastic change um, and live outside of my comfort zone and do things that I on my own cannot do. That is awesome. And I just want to encourage you today to just step out of your comfort zones and live your life as you are writing your eulogy right now. It's what people are going to remember. It's what people are going to talk about at the end of the day. And um, we all have a story. So just embrace your story. And thank you for embracing mine and for encouraging me to, to share who I am and um, what I've been through this year. I appreciate um, each and every one of you. Um, I love you. Thank you for watching this. And be sure and um, check out the video below. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.